to an all new episode of Conflex. Today I'm super pumped up to show you the all new Arcade 1UP Street Fighter Edition. Now, Arcade 1UP is a company that makes a variety of different arcade consoles. This one here is the one I chose, which is one of my favorite games of all time, Street Fighter 2. Now, it also comes with a different few other games as well. And they have like Rampage, uh, they have Centipede, you name it. Not to mention they're also making more games as well. Now, this one here is designed so you can go ahead and sit down and play. So literally just grab a chair and play it at your own leisure. It's not that tall, it's about this height that it's kind of standing at right now. Uh, but yeah, they also sell a stand. Now that stand allows you to go ahead and produce it at a higher height, so you can go ahead and stand and play at the same time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. <laughs> oh, this thing is really cool. So this here is our arcade machine and off the back it looks really amazing. Now some things I noticed is that it does resemble the nostalgic value of the Street Fighter 2 edition arcade machine to the T. Meaning you got all the similar graphics down from the headboard all the way to the side displays showing all the characters as well as a story about Street Fighter as well. Now the build material itself is made out of a almost like a wood compound but it is quite flimsy and can get damaged quite easily, so do keep that in mind when you use this. Now, it weighs about 60 pounds, so you have to keep in mind in terms of making sure it doesn't kind of fly around. Uh, so just keep that in set. It does come with a mount that you can go ahead and secure it to the wall using a zip tie, but even that doesn't really keep it stationary. Now, the Pexi glass is very nice, including the LCD screen. As you can see that even on any angle, it is very vibrant. And then the keypads are very durable and it can take a lot of abuse. So you get two sets of those from player one to player two, as well as an on off switch and then a volume control for the speaker that's right over here. Now in terms of the volume, you get loud, medium and mute, and then you get a player one and player two button. Now the arcade machine interior holds about 5% of all electronic equipment, meaning 95% of it is just open space. Now I kind of wish they kind of acted on this, including a almost like a storage compartment, but then again, it's a brand new product. So they're still probably improving that. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what it's all about. All right, so we're all set, ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Now there's an on off switch right over here. And then I'll go ahead and boot it up. It's actually very simple. It doesn't make any loud, like loud hummings or anything like that. And it'll say RK one up. Haha, <laughs> makes me really pumped. So you have three different games in this version. You get uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, uh, the uh, Super Street Fighter 2, and as well as the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with this one right here and just go ahead A. Uh, so it says press this one to continue. And then if you hold this, we'll go ahead and reset it. So we'll hit this right here. And, oh yeah. So I'll hit replay. Ah, oh, this brings back so memories. All right, so we can go ahead and pick a character. So let's go ahead and play it safe and we'll pick Ryu. All right, so we're gonna go to USA. Ah, oh, we're gonna go ahead and fight some Ken now, yeah. All right, let's see if I remember how to play this. All right, let's go. So the graphics on it are really smooth. Uh, the screen is actually very nice and crisp. Um, and it's actually got a good response time. Oh my God, I'm getting my butt kicked here. No, 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 no. Yeah, take that. Hadouken. Hadouken. Ah, come on. You know, either you're always like a Ryu guy or a Ken guy, and I've always been, honestly, a Ryu guy. Unfortunately, I just lost. All right, let's give him round two. But it's actually a lot of fun. You know, the feeling of the buttons is actually a lot, a lot of fun. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes just pressing anything usually helps. Come on! No, 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 no! I mean, how the hell does... 
No, come on. How does Ken get fire out of his arms? Yeah. Take that, Ken. All right, looks like winner's gonna take all in this round here. Oh no! Come on! No, 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 this is really close! No! Well, that was some fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just hit player number two. So I hit player number one. So these are like credits, which is actually a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the reset button for right now. So hold it for five seconds. And I'll go and restart the game again. So you can always go ahead and like try it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the mute, uh, audio for right now. So kind of gives you an idea of what this is all about. You know, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, definitely brings a great nostalgic value to it as well. Uh, plus you can always just go ahead and sit down and play, you know, through two players at the same time as well. Now it's actually a very simple design on the back there. It's literally all hollow. It's literally a screen and then a wire that connects to the joysticks. So they did a great job with the whole design of it and actually it doesn't take any room at all. Now I definitely think this is a great novelty piece and it's perfect for anyone's man cave or uh, any other kind of room as well. Now they do sell a, uh, a stand that you can go ahead and install with this as well. So you can go ahead and stand up and play with it as well. Now I noticed that it was actually a great piece, especially with my niece, she's only like, uh, just about this tall and she was playing it almost as if it was like a full blown arcade machine. So definitely a very awesome piece and I would imagine having multiple of these kind of like lined up would be a great idea as well. Now they did a great job with the whole Street Fighter 2 aspect of it. You know, you got all the different characters here laid out on the, on the screen as well. You know, on the bottom here, it gives you like ideas of how to go ahead and play. Talks about some of the history of the game. And then even like the print of this, this is actually a very high quality piece. Now, I hope this gives you an idea of what this is all about, and I would recommend it to everyone out there, especially if you're looking for an arcade machine, uh, and you don't know, you don't really wanna buy one of those big ones, and you don't know what to do with it. This here is a great idea. I mean, literally, it comes in a do-it-yourself build kit, which comes with everything that you need, and literally, it doesn't take any room at all, so you don't have to really haul it down. And it actually weighs close to nothing. It's about like 50 pounds, I believe, so, you know, it's really not that bad. Now, if you guys had any questions about the RK 1UP machine, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.